Hello and welcome to another Stellarian Games video. In this episode we're going to be changing gears a little bit and covering some different topics that I've been kind of putting on the back burner for a while. Um, really doing the projects but just haven't gotten the videos out. So in this case it is going to be covering a cage cart. Uh, this one uh, was put together in probably an hour or two with the intent of trying to get it ready for a session the, the next day. Um, I didn't have a lot of time to spend doing much detail work, and in reality, it didn't really need all that much detail. It was going to be used as part of a scenario, and it functioned just the way that it should. Uh, there's enough room to put characters. If you're interested in putting characters inside of a cage cart, uh, the uh, roof comes off, the front uh, wheels swivel so that it, it can turn if you needed to. The wheels don't turn or anything like that. It's not functional in that regard. Uh, but it's a nice, simple project. I got some simple uh, plastic horses. I got a whole tub of them off of Amazon. Um, and I just glued a little cardboard between them and set them on the cage cart. And you basically have a, a nice team of horses pulling a cage cart. So in this video, we're going to cover how to make that. And let's go to the table and see how it's done. OK, to start this craft, we're going to be using a load of popsicle stick uh, toothpicks, but they aren't the, the pointed kind, they're just the small dowel kind that you can get at craft stores. I'm wrapping it up in some masking tape and measuring it so that I'm going to get a half, uh, a cut in half on this stack. Take it over to the bandsaw and cut that stack in half. These will form the bars of the cage. Then I'm using a whole bunch of scrap pieces of uh, chipboard and I'm just cutting out the frame for the cage cart. This is going to be the, the base of it. This is some pretty heavy, thick uh, chipboard. I'm using some small half inch wooden blocks and drilling all the way through. These will form um, the holes for the axles of the cart. And on one, I'm also drilling a top hole just part way through, that, that will be the pivot point later on. I drilled through the chipboard as well and cut off a small chunk of that dowel and just hot gluing that into place. I'm using some more chipboard to start framing up the rest of the cart. This is the medium weight uh, graphics chipboard, so it is a little bit heavier duty. Um, because I wanted it to be able to hold up and, and kind of stand on its own. I'm placing them one inch apart on my cutting mat and then putting a, a bead of glue on each end and then just putting uh, some of those dowels into that bead of glue and letting that set. Now I'm going to be forming the ends of the cart. I needed an arc to uh, be for the roof. So that's why I'm using the circle template and then cutting those out out of that chipboard. Those also needed to have some doors cut in, so that's what I'm tracing out and cutting. And on the front one, I wanted a small window just above the driver. I'm cutting off another piece of chipboard for the actual door. This will be glued to the back side of it um, and another hole cut into that and glue on some uh, more dowels into that one as well. Now I'm going to put a little bit of glue onto the axles just so that they're glued into place and then use a little hot glue to glue the rear axle piece in and then gluing in the front axle but I'm not gluing that one into place I'm just putting it on that little peg as the pivot point. Now I'm drilling a hole through some small circle wooden circles uh, these are also just craft circles that you can get at craft stores I just drilled a hole so that it'd be easy to uh, hot glue and get those circles to sit on the axles. I'm 
All right, next I'm cutting just a template out of some styrofoam so that I can work on the rest of the card without having kind of at an odd angle. Cutting some small dowels for the window above the driver. And then hot gluing those end panels into place. For this one, I realized that the front pivot dowel was going to be right through the middle of the, the end panel. So I just cut out a small notch for that dowel and that'll help kind of mask that dowel sticking up. It'll also give it some strength for reinforcing the pivot point. Now I'm just shaving off a little bit of the those side panels that stuck out over the edge. I wanted to trace the same arc for the actual roof piece, so I'm cutting out another arc. This will serve as kind of the bracing uh, for the actual roof. Then I'm using some thinner chipboard that would be a little bit easier to curve cutting out uh, a rough uh, rectangle of that, and then just slicing, scoring in some um, boards along the top, and that'll help curve and make it kind of a believable wooden roof. Once I had the curve where I wanted it, just traced in some lines where I think those um, arcs would be glued in and hot gluing those into place. Next, I'm gonna start working on the driver's bench. Just took a small chunk of that chipboard, kind of aligned it where I wanted it and hot gluing that into place. I did a very similar thing with the back stairway as well. Now I'm gonna be working on the tongue of the cart. This is just more chipboard with a section of uh, matchstick glued to it, and that's glued to the front of that pivoting piece. Now we're painting this all with black spray paint just to give it an, an even quick coat. I'm giving it an undercoat of a dark brown. Then I'm switching to a light tan, and I'm actually painting in the boards onto the chipboard. There aren't actually any boards um, on the exterior of this piece, uh, but I just decided to paint it and give it a little bit more of a, a visual interest without having real texture behind it. And I switched and went to a light gray to give it a kind of a weathered look and went over all those same boards, um, leaving some of the tan exposed, but really having that light gray really be the dominant color. And here's the fi uh, finished piece. This didn't take very long since I could spray paint it and then quickly paint it. I hope you like this video. If you do, please hit the like button and subscribe, and we'll see you again next time. Thank you.